Hello again. Today, you'll learn how to tween models. In my previous video, we learned how to make a basic tween, but now we're going to make a harder thing. The process is similar, but with a few differences. You should know that models don't work with Vector 3. Instead, they use C frames. All right, enough yapping. Let's get to it. Here's our model. Add a script inside the model. Now, we're going to define the variables of the model, the tween service and the info. Here's where it gets different. We aren't going to use a goal variable, instead, we'll make a target variable. For the position, you'll need to get the model's pivot. It's the only way you can get its position without needing a part inside it. And then, add a vector 3, so it'll move 10 studs up from its position. Now, add another variable that converts the vector 3 into a C frame, as models can't read vector 3, only C frames. Since Roblox doesn't let you tween models directly, we'll use a C frame value that can move with C frames too. This C frame value is very important because we'll be moving the C frame value, not the model. Parent it to something related to the model, for example, the script. Now, define its default value to the model's pivot. Create the tween mixing everything, but now the object will be the C frame value, and on the goal, put the value to the variable converting the vector 3 to C frame. Now, for it to work, detect when the value changes, and make the model's pivot move to the value every time it changes. And voila! The rotation process is different, we'll get to it right now. Don't remove the target position, just put model, get pivot. Now, add another variable for the rotation. Make sure that you use C frame instead of vector 3. Now change the value to target position, asterisk, target orientation, or replace the variables with yours, but in the same order as me. Nice. 